Hi, it's Darren, and welcome to my video on editing video inside of the Hippo Video platform. So uh, once you've recorded a video that you made on your own or even uploaded one, it now exists in your video library. So if we want to edit it, the first thing we have to do is look at it and where it is in our library. Um, I'm just going to uh, pick a video I had actually done earlier at SAS Stock, and uh, let's look at editing this up. So when we go to edit, you have multiple options you'll see here. But if you want to go straight to the editing page, you just simply click on the video. Once the video opens up, you'll notice that you have multiple options. You can do things like update video information here. Maybe I wanted to move this copy out of the title and leave my phone number in the description. But in respect to actually editing the video, we have both quick edit and pro edit. If you're trying to get a video out quick, definitely quick edit's the way to go. So for the quick edit, you'll see I have multiple things that I can do here. Maybe I wanna do something like add my email. And everything exists on a drag and drop system, so it's very easy to use. Now, you'll notice here that white isn't very easy to see. Maybe I'll want to try a different color and set it. You can also do things like play around with the font, the sizing. Now, if you want to do things like add images or emojis, these can be done as well. Great way to add a little bit of personality and character to your video. And when we're applying things like this, you'll notice that if you select them, it opens up. So you can make this last for as long or for as little as you'd like. If I do this, this is going to pop in about halfway through the video. Or maybe you have some personal information you want to blur or resize your video. So all of this can be done uh, very simply through quick edit. Uh, with Quick Edit, uh, it is very easy to use and very rapid for getting videos out. If you want to save your work, you could hit Save, and it would even now be available in Pro Edit. Now, in Pro Edit, it's going to be similar to some of the more advanced editors you may have seen in the past, where you'll notice that things exist on tracks or on layers. And with these tracks, you are going to be able to put things above and below each other, remove them completely, and even mash up clips. So if I wanted to import perhaps, you know, something from the audio library to add music or, you know, a different video, all of this can be done through importing. You'll notice here, similar tool set to what we've seen in Quick Edit. But you can also do things like record audio over top or record new video. Uh, this is very helpful in the editing part. My earlier changes that I made are now here as well. Maybe I decide that I actually want this little robot to start at the beginning of the video. And I've decided that I want to remove my text. All very easy to do. I notice this track has nothing on it. I can delete it. And maybe I didn't like what I had said through this part of the video. It can all be cut. And we also have snap mode. Snap mode means you'll be able to butt your pieces up together very easily. And in a matter of moments, I was able to do my edits. So one of the advantages to Hippo Video is it's an all-in-one solution. Uh, previously, you'd need multiple tools to get video, host it, send it. But from Hippo, you can create, edit, host, send, track uh, videos all from one location. So if I'm to save this, let's say I'm happy with all my edits. I had added what I would like to add, and I'm pretty comfortable with the way everything has turned out. I now save it, or of course, I could have previewed it. Now, after it's saved, there's still one other thing I think may be valuable for me to add, and those are marketing tools. Marketing tools are a great way for us to be able to change um, some of the video uh, or add some extra depth to the video, I should say. 
And we do that by doing things like lead generation forms, polling, really great ways to migrate traffic or collect information on it. Now to find the marketing tools, you click the marketing tool tab. I'm gonna start off with a simple annotation. I believe I already have one on this video, as you'll see here, but we're gonna remove the current ones that we have. And we're gonna add new ones. So if I wanna do an annotation, this is just a simple button. When we apply marketing tools, they now exist on a timeline. So let's try playing this. It's Darren again from Hippo Video. I wanna thank you for You'll now see here that this will move to the website. Similar to an annotation is a call to action. This is great. It stops the video dead in its tracks. And you decide uh, if you want this to stop early in the video, late in the video, simply by selecting the time. And you're not limited to the text. You know, you can also use an image or HTML. Lead generation also stops the video, but this allows you to collect information you know, name, last name, email, phone number, and you can require that users fill out this information before they can proceed. Custom polling, great way to collect information. And again, you decide the time where this takes place. The check mark means it's applied successfully, and you'll see here, we now have both the uh, show as well so when we're watching these or when the user is watching this video they'll see exactly uh, the annotation in the poll and of course you can do great things like add playlists or even provide an in-video meeting link which will pop up at the end and people can book directly into your calendar this is a very useful tool all of this information as well can be downloaded into a CSV uh, later on which you can use that spreadsheet uh, for your own information. And um, that's just a quick little video on editing within a Hippo video. There's quick edit, pro edit, and then of course the marketing tool. So uh, from inside uh, Hippo, whether you have a lot of video editing experience, or you're brand new to it, you're going to be able to effectively edit and market your videos in a way uh, which are going to help you increase your opportunities and close more deals. Uh, again, I want to thank you for watching this video and there'll be more to come.